thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I'll be brief and let yield my time since I'm kind of wasting my time here. I'll be honest with you. Uh, Secretary Mayorkas, do you take full responsibility for all decisions of action and in, or inaction made at your agency? Do you personally take full responsibility for, uh, for all of the decisions made at your agency? I am the secretary of the department. So it means I, yes. I bear ultimate responsibility so, for the decisions so yes. made. Yes. Okay. So you mentioned earlier that in your definition you have operational control of the border. Can you define what you mean by that? Uh, what we mean, um, because the, the, under the Secure Fence Act, it means that not a single individual would cross the border. Under that definition, no administration <laughs> has had operational control. So the what way, number do you have? I, five million, ten, if less than five or ten, or le less than a couple hundred thousand get away or more? I mean, what is your definition? What we do, uh, Congresswoman, is we Do you have look, a number? What we do is we look at the resources that we have available to us and ask ourselves, are we deploying those resources to achieve the most effective results for the American people? Mm -hmm. That is what we do, and we are hopeful, working with you and other members of this committee, to increase the funding for the Department of Homeland so, so Security. So we hear so funding, we're funding, we're funding, but I've been at the border and you've been at the border too. How would you grade your job from on a scale of zero to 10? How would you grade yourself? Congresswoman, I am immensely proud so what, work, how would you grade yourself? Congresswoman, I am immensely proud to work with the men and women of the Department of Homeland Security. No, yourself, your, your job, not all of the women. I love a lot of, I'm sure there are a lot of great men and women in your department. How would you rate your job as a head of your agency? It is the honor of my From life. zero to ten, so you cannot grade it. How, how would you grade your preparedness to this committee meeting on scale from zero to ten? We ask information, you all these promises, ladder. I'm not wasting my time. I'm sorry, I don't want to use bad word, but you can do with all this ladders because we keep giving money and sending ladder and you tell us BS back. So how would you rate yourself, your preparedness to this committee? It is the honor Question. of my lifetime to work with the so From scale minutes. zero to 10, how would you say how prepared you came to this hearing? Uh, I will repeat uh, what I said. So you're not answering any questions. You are not answering any Republican question. Is it something that your intent to not respond to any questions of Republicans, you came with that intent? That is incorrect, Congressman. Well, you're not answering any questions. It is. I mean, I, every time I hear you say, we will, we will, we shall, yeah, I don't know. You don't, you don't know any numbers. You don't even know how many people you actually, you know, you, you were prosecuted, how many people you deported, you're nothing. How can you say you know how you, your department is run? As executive, you don't know these numbers? Congresswoman, let me share with you. Well, you haven't shared anything useful here. Let me share I'm with sorry you. I, to tell you, I'll yield to Chairman Jordan because I'm not going to be wasting your time with this charade and circus. You do not have an intent to do that. And it is a serious national security issue. This border and cartels are stronger. A lot of money and Joes are making who knows what and probably a lot of corruption over there. And we have a national security crisis. And you sit in here and saying, you know, looking at us with very smiley face, it's unacceptable. But I yield to Chairman Jordan. Wow, God bless that lady. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section. Bro, I do not understand how Alejandro Mallorca still has a job. That man should be impeached, removed, censored, whatever you want to call it by now. Anyway, re Republican in Congress, come on, man. I'm going to leave you with this article from NPR. Listen to this. U.S. drug overdose death hit a record in 2022. This is 2022. There's no numbers yet for 2023, but you can only imagine with the border being wide open. Anyway, in 2022, more than 109,000 people died from fentanyl crisis. Fentanyl coming through the border. And that man still has a job. How, bro? You let me know what you think about this. God bless you. Catch you on the next one. Trump 2024, bro.